Hey, so today's tutorial we're going to go over how we can use DaVinci Resolve and Fusion to create banners and thumbnails. So you can see the banner on my YouTube page here. We've, oh well, I've created that completely in Fusion. There's a label down here, just let people know. So I'm not going to go through exactly how I created it, but I'll take you through the node tree and then show you how to extract that as a JPEG so you can use it as either a banner or as a, a thumbnail. So here we go into Fusion. I'll just bring you into my node tree. So this is the final result of what we've created. The way we've done this is if we go back to our beginning, it's a simple matter of creating some 3D text with a bit of an extrusion to it. So as you can see there I've created the Fusion Bomb title which is now the name of the YouTube page. We've then created some textures to uh, give it a nice glass effect and this is the result when it's applied to the text itself. We have a, a nice glass looking text. Uh, after that we bring it into a 3D node, add in some particles and a, a 3D camera so we can decide where we're going to view the, um, the text from. As you can see there the particles from the uh, particle generator. <coughs> uh, the next point is to render it into 2D which gives us this image. We then add a few filters and a blur and merge it back on top to create a slightly more aesthetic effect. After that we've then um, added in a, a background so what I've done is I've created sort of like a, a bluish uh, to black gradient to the background with some fast noise over to give it uh, an effect. You can't really tell because of the clear background so what I've done is added in a black background which gives us this nice space like futuristic effect and then when we merge that with our text we get this effect which starts to look pretty cool so after that I added in the um, the text for the tutorials uh, for the text that goes underneath that says tutorials we've uh, applied a filter to that to give it a, a slightly more brighter outline effect and then um, I've created like a, a red shadow to go behind it just to add a, a bit more to it and then we've merged that with the text which gives us this effect and then when we add that into the uh, fusion bomb we get a nice fancy effect that looks like it's, uh, it's moving through space kind of effect then after that I um, I just created this little bit of text just to let people know that it was created in Fusion. Just merge that in with, in with the whole thing. And then it's a simple matter of creating a global transform so that I can move it all about in one go. And so we know exactly how to line it up. I used a template that I screened onto my um, composition so that I can line it up perfectly for YouTube. Just use this global transform if I wanted to move it left or right, up or down. If you need to make it bigger or smaller, it's all doable. So I'll just undo that. Now, we don't want that banner on, so we just disable that node and that gives us our, our final outcome. The beauty of doing it in DaVinci rather than in something like Photoshop is we've got a timeline. So I can just scroll through this timeline to the point where I find the effect most pleasing. So I think that's probably a bit too much with the particles. Bring it back a bit. That looks satisfying to me. So once we're happy with that, we go into the edit page and we can press P to full screen view our fusion title. Looks pretty good to me. And then to extract it, it's a simple case of coming over to the color tab. I've already got my clip in here, but we right click on the window, click grab still, and this creates a, 
a still option for us. Um, if you don't see that, there is a gallery option in the top left corner. Just click the gallery and they will appear. And it's a case of right click, extract, extract it wherever you want it to be. So we'll just create it in this folder here. We'll have it as a, a JPEG file. Call it test for now. And if I go to uh, my quick access test open file location there it is test a JPEG that can be uploaded as either a thumbnail or as a uh, banner on YouTube that has been created 100% in Fusion no use of anything like Photoshop or Canva and it's a, it's a pretty nice unique looking title so, I uh, hope this has helped you guys. If you found it interesting and helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button to let me know, and I will keep these tutorials coming. So, till next time, thanks for watching.